Shout out to the KJ family. Rock with Christina and Jamia. We're back, you guys, for another food review. Woo! But not just any review. What? You guys, we haven't had Panera in so long, and I just found out that they came out with brand new chicken sandwiches. Yes. Shout out to our KJ fan member who suggested this to us. I would not have known. I know. So thank you so, 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 so much for letting me know about it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm really, really excited. Absolutely. So there are two sandwiches, right? Yes. There is the standard chicken sandwich essentially and then there's the spicy one yeah you know what i mean so I they do look know pretty good mean. they look different i totally know what you mean they do look different they look really weird kind of the <laughs> chicken itself it's a little odd i'm not gonna lie i, I don't usually see fried chicken like that but well, see that's the thing i guess it is fried yeah it is fried but i guess or baked. Maybe, maybe it's baked maybe it's baked it looks like almost like air fried yeah it does <laughs> so i'm not really sure but yeah um yeah we're gonna try these out today and see how they taste exactly yeah it's just funny you know it's interesting i just gotta say something really quick everyone's on this uh the spicy chicken and regular chicken vibe mm -hmm. since popeyes yeah isn't that crazy it everyone's is. done it i feel like every Fast food chain now has has a spicy chicken sandwich or a regular chicken. They sandwich. do, I know. So it's Panera's so cool. finally on the bandwagon. They're finally on it. Um. So the question is, is this going to be good? I, I mean, know. this looks pretty good. It does it for does what this good. is, you know. Uh huh. Um. So again, so. this is the the signature. It says the signature take chicken sandwich. That's what the <laughs> name is. So it's five hundred and sixty calories. $11.29. It does come with a side. We have some chips. Um, so it's basically seasoned and seared oh, chicken breast okay. with um, Parmesan crisps, emerald greens, and garlic aioli on a brioche bun. Okay. So that's what this one is. All right, cool. I want Jamila to go first. No, no, I want you to go first. I want sure. you to go first. No, because I'm going to do the spicy one first. Okay. Oh, good so, idea. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just in case. I gotta say though, for the price, price guys, this better be good. Eleven bucks. They're taxing here. Yeah. They're taxing. It's expensive. It is. Yeah. It is. I mean, eleven dollars for this. I mean, come on. But we'll see. What? Maybe it's good. Exactly. I shouldn't say that yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Here we go. Oh, I should probably. I kind of should have showed you. I'm sorry. Oh. But okay. They have you know that the chicken, yep. the greens, and underneath are these Parmesan crisps. And there's mayo on it and everything. So the garlic aioli. Cool. Yeah. Oh, garlic aioli. Thank you. Okay. All right. Put a lot of greens on here. <laughs> they did. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. One, two, three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Sometimes we like it. I freaking love it. <laughs> Man, it's good. Mmm. Mm. Just a little bite. Mmm. -hmm. I'm just dancing over here. Wow. But I'd love to know what Jamil thinks because he's more of a skeptic. <laughs> Am I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm more the critiquer, you mean. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. sandwich is a hit, right? Absolutely, it's definitely a hit. It's very good. Flavor comes through perfectly. It's not about the chicken on this all by itself. No, it's not. It's about the Parmesan chips. Mm -hmm. Those Parmesan chips mixed with that chicken really does make it that chicken sandwich it mm -hmm. gives it its signature vibe mm -hmm. so i get why they call it signature no i'm okay i'm okay mm -hmm. it's really good it's very good the bread's not i feel like the bread's not too dry um it's not too bready if that makes sense it's not right? i feel like it goes well with the chicken the arugula tastes good um the reason why it took me a minute is because it's it's although it's good i really like it it's definitely worth trying it's kind of confusing yeah. because the Parmesan chips, mm -hmm. I've, I've never really had a chicken sandwich with Parmesan mm -hmm. on there like that. At least Parmesan chips. It's super crispy. So it's, yeah, exactly. It is. It There's is a lot crispy. going on. And I think mm -hmm. you said it correctly. I think it's not about the chicken. It's about the combination of all the flavors 
that yeah. do go really well. And I love the fact that they have a crunch in here with these um, Parmesan chips. Super yeah. crunchy, just adds that texture that you need. Mm -hmm. The garlic aioli is really good. Yeah. Really creamy, not too garlicky at all. Yeah, true. But just adds like a little bit. And then the chicken's really delicious. And then you pair it with the greens, like it just, and then the soft bun, the brioche bun. Yep. Like it just feels very fresh. It does. It does. It's really, really, really good. <laughs> now, fam, if you're asking, is it worth $11? <laughs> I would say no. <laughs> it's not that good. Mainly mm. because there's not, to mm -hmm. me, I feel like there's not, if you're gonna charge someone that's $11, mm -hmm. you gotta mm. give these um, bags of chips, right? These tiny bags of chips. But, it's not the, it, to me i want something bigger if that's the case it's just not worth it you know for that you can go to a restaurant and get a chick a, a burger for you know 10 bucks and it's bigger than that yeah. and fries and everything you know panera's a lot for sure that should be like seven bucks yeah that's true mm -hmm. let's try the chicken sandwich uh the spicy one uh, this is kind of cool too the box right here you can open it from here from the top mm -hmm. but apparently did you see this there's a little oh my goodness <laughs> Chris, <it's so> exciting. <laughs> panera coming through i know wow bursting with flavor it says. what look at that look at that they, okay they've upped, the, they've upped the chicken sandwich game honestly like the fact that they created that thing <laughs> is really impressive like they thought about this is it yes they were like how can we make this eleven dollars <laughs> charge $11 but not really have anything that much happening to this, you know? We also didn't rate the first one. Do you want to rate it on a oh, one to ten? of course. We okay. have to Jamil's rate it. Like, I always forget. Next. I always forget. Okay. Okay, let's rate it one to ten. I think I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Okay, me too. One, one two, two, three, eight, eight and a half. How you rated it higher than I did? It's a better sandwich. It's a good sandwich. It's very good. I mean, it's very good. I was trying to just be like mm -hmm. a little conservative, like because I'm sure there's, you know, it's very mm -hmm. good though. Mm -hmm. I should have probably rated it. You know. Yeah, plus it's really good. I'm rating it in comparison to like just a sandwich, right? Like it's it's a good sandwich. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why. I mean, if I'm comparing it to like everything we've had, all the chicken sandwiches, then mm -hmm. yeah, it's like probably like a seven in that case. Uh -huh. But when it comes to actually, you know, how good it is as mm -hmm. a just a regular sandwich, mm -hmm. it's, it's really good. I think I so too. I definitely would think it's worth it. So, yeah, I think know? so too. I'm shocked you waited eight and a half. Uh, are you? Yes, <laughs> but it is good. And yeah, yes. I'm kind of comparing it to other chicken sandwiches too. Oh, you are. Okay. Um, but also the sandwiches at Panera in general. Yeah. This is a solid eight. Yeah, it's a solid eight. Very delicious. I agree. Okay, so here's the other oh. the spicy chicken sandwich. There's like some chips things in there. I don't know what those are. I'm about to tell you. They look like chips. It says the spicy take chicken sandwich. And it okay. is seasoned and seared chicken breast, spicy buffalo sauce, Ooh. crispy pickle chips. They are pickled chips. And you guessed that. Earlier on, yeah. And garlic aioli on a brioche roll. Okay. I actually did say pickled chips. I, was, I wasn't did sure that I didn't want to sound stupid or else I was going to say it again. You totally <laughs> said pickled chips. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm trying it out. Okay. I'm excited. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this has no lettuce. No arugula. Waiting for the flavor to hit, kick me, hit me. Let's try one more. It's on the border of whack attack, but <laughs> it's not quite whack. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I like the pickle chips. If it mm -hmm. wasn't for the pickle chips, this would be whack attack. Well, the pickle chips give it its own style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. that's what, like, really sets it apart. I love the pickle chips. Yeah. I love. Yeah. I love, love, love. You know what I think it is about the chicken is there's not, there just isn't a lot of flavor in it. There's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of flavor. What makes this, sa these sandwiches, what gives them any hope, essentially, is the the con or not the condiments, but 
whatever's on it besides the chicken, right? So the the mayo or the a root. What was it? The what was the one on there? Garlic aioli. The garlic aioli. And that too. The buffalo sauce, whatever they put on here. The pickles. That's what really makes these sandwiches. <laughs> Even the bread tastes really good. Mm -hmm. But this one is nothing special. I agree with you on that. I think they just marinate the. Or is the buffalo sauce on the bread? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is on the bread. Okay. And the garlic aioli. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's cool. Buffalo sauce is very light. Mm -hmm. um, it does have a little kick to this. It's definitely a hot. Mm -hmm. um, on a 1 to 10 on hot. Let's say a, a 4 mm -hmm. for me. Um, yeah, I agree. But the pickle chips make it. Mm -hmm. So if it wasn't for that, again, yeah, definitely on the whack tack side. But because of that pickle chips, that pickle chips definitely mm -hmm. like makes it higher. Got it. So you like the pickle chips, huh? Love them. I don't like them that much. No? No, I'm not a big fan of pickle chips. Okay. I'm I thought you fan. are. No, I like jalapeno. Oh, okay. Not the pickle chips. If they put jalapeno chips on here, I would have loved that. Uh-huh. But the pickle chips, mm, I'm not really a big fan. I think it adds, like, depth to this flavor profile here. Yeah, you do think so? Yeah, I do. Uh, but, yeah. yeah, you know, to each their own. Yeah, I like the other one better. Okay, yeah. I definitely like that, and I think mm -hmm. you feel the same, too. Yeah, this the other one's borderline, good. borderline, just whack. So, I, I, you know what? I would, I personally think, I think, I think everyone would feel this way. I think the first sandwich was the better one to get. Oh, yeah. I think that one was the better way to go. But I let's, think so too. I guess we'll rate this really quick there. Yeah, let's rate the um, spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm ready. Man, I don't know. I know exactly what I'm going to give this. <laughs> Do you know exactly? I don't know exactly what I'm giving it. Okay, I'm ready too. Are you ready? One, one two, two, three, three five. five and a half. You went higher than I did? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, it wasn't... We're all mixed around today. You know, I enjoyed the pickle chips better than me. Oh, that's true. Good point. Good point. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I gave it a five and a half. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But um, definitely the regular one. Yeah. Hands down way better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe if... You are going to get the spicy one. Mm -hmm. Maybe try it. Ask them to take the, add the uh, Parmesan chips onto that one. And if you oh. like the pickle chips, you could. That's true. Because I feel like that might add a lot. And That's maybe true. ask for arugula. Maybe that that right there alone Ooh. might actually fix it a little might bit. Might judge it up a little bit. Yeah, because mm -hmm. once again, the flavor isn't That's in the chicken. Uh -huh. The flavor is in everything around it. Mm -hmm. and, and because there wasn't that much stuff in there, I felt like yeah. it just wasn't, it didn't wow me Yeah, so much, you might you know? not like the, yeah. yeah, the pickle chips. Exactly. That's you might exactly. want some lettuce. I'm sure you could add some tomato if you wanted. Oh, yeah. You some could onion. That. You know, you could totally judge it out. Exactly. You could add some avocado. You know, so you could actually probably make this really, really good. You could. Yeah. You probably could. Mm -hmm. But not how it is now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back for the regular one, though, for sure. Oh, well, really? Oh, okay. yeah. I would yeah. come back for it. Oh, they're both the same price, by the way. They are the same price, right? Oh, yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. That one should be cheaper. The spice one should be cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's less stuff on it. Uh, yeah. But, well. I don't care how cool the box is. Okay? <laughs> the box is so cool. I don't care how cool that the is. Box, well, the box is like that on the other one, too. Yeah, it's like a little Oh, okay, yeah. I'm just saying it shouldn't be worth that much money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just because the box is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, guys, we got some mac and cheese, too. Yes. And. I'm excited. Should we talk a little bit? Yes. About, you guys, we want to talk a little bit about the show we've been watching, mm -hmm. binge watching. Yep. You guys might have seen it by now. <laughs> I wasn't even going to watch it. Yeah. But I got pulled into it. And I I'm stop. shocked Jamil <laughs> likes the Netflix show as much as he did. That's really as good. much as he does. You were in it. I was. I feel like sometimes guys, I don't know, they're just like, they're really like anti something. But then like once you like get, I don't know, like if they're open um, to just like sit there and look. <laughs> Then yeah. I feel like they do get into it. Anyway, so. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, okay, well, the show's called Ultimatum, by the way, and we'll talk about, you know, talk, Ooh. we won't, I know, it's really hot, watch out. Dang. <laughs> it's not spicy, but it's just like, yeah, it's hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Krista just went for it without blood. I didn't think it was going to be hot. You didn't oh, touch yeah, the bottom? This is the hottest mac and cheese ever. I mean, yeah, I guess. The bottom was burning my fingers. That's, Shoot. I, I assume you might have this known. This is good. Anyway. It's really good, though. Uh, um, so, The Ultimatum on Netflix. Yeah. Comment down below if you've seen it already. Yeah, let us know. We're not going to spoil the show itself. You no. should watch it. But but we'll tell you what it's about, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, here's, here's what I want to say about the show, yeah. though. Like, I'll tell you the concept, but it's a stupid concept. Like, it's a, it's the dumbest concept ever, but it's fascinating <laughs> at the same time. It's so crazy. 
pretty much what the concept is. It's it's about couples, um, and it seems it seemed pretty real. With of course, you know, they have editing going on through it, so you don't, you know, it's, it's there's editing right to show, a lot. Mm-hmm. but it's about a few couples that um, um, each of them are having issues in their relationships. Mm-hmm. They're looking to get married, mm-hmm. um, but one couple is giving the other couple an ultimatum, saying like, hey. If you don't do this one thing, I don't know if we can be together. One person in the relationship. One person is saying that to the other person. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, hey, I'm going to give you an ultimatum. If you don't fix this one thing, right? No, it's like, or marry it? me. Oh. Or, yeah, it's marry me or we're yeah. done. Yeah, okay, That's got the it. ultimatum. That, okay, I, okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah, the people in the relationship, one of them is ready to get married. Yeah. ASAP Rocky. And the other one doesn't know. The other one still isn't sure that maybe they need things to happen in the relationship yes. still they're they're not you know they're questioning things yeah exactly yeah so that's you know pretty standard right they you know one person wants to get married the other person doesn't want to mm-hmm. i think there's other one too like where there was some well it's not spoiling it but some people wanted kids uh-huh. and some people didn't uh-huh. so there was that too mm-hmm. but it, it all led to marriage right mm-hmm. anyway so they give the person's ultimatum and this is where the stupid part comes in, which is crazy. <laughs> but so what they're doing to to decide if they want to marry the other person or be with the other person mm-hmm. is they're allowing the other person to date one of the other people in the house. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's a house full of like, you know, there's like, there's like, what it was like 15, 16 people in there, 16 people in this house, right? So the what? house? Were they all living together? Well, it was like a it was like a hotel. Oh, okay, sure. It's like a hotel. Okay, They're all okay. in this hotel essentially, mm-hmm. and uh, I mean, obviously, they didn't say it, but that's clear what they were at. Mm-hmm. And so the all of the couples show up to this hotel. Mm-hmm. And they're they're switching they're switching couples essentially partners yeah partners yeah and they're saying okay if you don't you know I'm gonna get all this ultimatum do you, you know if you don't want to marry me right now then what mm-hmm. we're gonna do is mm-hmm. you're gonna date somebody else from this house and I'm gonna date someone else from this house mm-hmm. and I'm talking about like dating like they're like in a relationship mm-hmm. they're hang- going on dates together sleeping in the bed together mm-hmm. um everything eating together and you don't have well i guess there's contact with the other person no okay sure? yeah yeah, I'm okay, I'm well. yeah please well, do. <laughs> there's like you know limited contact essentially with the other person because you're hanging out with this other person for three weeks three weeks so that's a yeah. long time you explained it well but let me just like give a little bit yeah go ahead yeah so it's probably like let's just say five couples i forget exactly how many yes so they what mm-hmm. and one of the person in the relationship says marry me or we're done Mm -hmm. but obviously the other person is still questioning things so they basically agree to like go on a break yeah for three weeks and date another person another you know couple one of the people and another couple so they kind of do this this match thing where Mm -hmm. you know see who connects with whom and you know to figure out who they're gonna be basically having that three-week relationship for yeah exactly it's weird and then at the end of the three weeks the original couple is going to come back together and stay together for three weeks mm-hmm. and then the, decide in the, in the hotel and decide if they want to maybe be with the other person or actually stay with their original partner and actually marry their partner. Yeah. You guys, it is the stupidest concept <laughs> for a relationship. It's It can't work. So why do you think it's stupid? Okay, it's a great idea. First off, <laughs> it's great because it's entertaining to watch mm-hmm. how crazy... Like, this is not, like, this isn't therapy. <laughs> like, a therapist would say, don't go to this show. Mm, yeah. <laughs> because you, you, you could actually end up being worse off in your relationship than that, right? Yeah. Because what could happen, right, mm-hmm. is the couples could end up being intimate with each other, mm-hmm. right? Maybe you, maybe you didn't even have that as a problem before in a relationship. Mm-hmm. It was just a matter of this person isn't ready to get married. Next thing you know, your partner's sleeping with somebody else and actually has a night with that other person and now you got real problems it's weird that they're agreeing <laughs> yes it's weird that they're agreeing to take a break yeah and then exactly. also on the break yeah yeah you're just you're you're living with someone else exactly which normally isn't going to happen if you're taking a break from somebody that's exactly right now being intimate with other people during a break that can happen that's common of course but that's a problem because in reality, none of these people are saying they want a break. Mm. They're not saying that. Mm-mm. What they're saying is they want to get married, right. you know, or they don't want to be with the person at the moment, right? They're not saying we want to take a break. 
yet they're putting they're putting themselves on a break <laughs> with this yeah on the so. show they're having the break yeah and that i thought that was weird too yeah it's weird none of them said like i need a break from my part i mean yes that's the concept of the show yeah but yeah. usually in ultimatums like Mary, Mary, we're done. They're, it's not really like, oh, okay, well, let's go on a break, let's, and then I'll figure it out. Yeah. So that part is was a little unclear and weird. Yeah, well, the, the I, I think, too, right? Yeah, no problem. The issue isn't that the people need to see if there's somebody else better out there. Does that make sense? Like, it's not like they're, they're if someone doesn't want to get married, they're there's a million the reasons why someone might not want to get married. They're making up the issue. Though. Exactly. They're forcing the issue that, hey, well, then maybe you need to maybe there's spend other time people with someone better. else. And I don't want to say much, but that is a problem because what happens if you find somebody there at the show mm -hmm. that you connect with better? Mm -hmm. Well, now, now everything's all bad. Yeah. You get what I'm saying, right? So, anyways, you got to check out the show, but but it's uh, but but Chris and I are gonna go on the show. We're gonna apply for it. <laughs> we're gonna go on one of these seasons. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, and we're gonna see what happens, guys. <laughs> Our mukbangs might be uh, different people next time you see. Us. <laughs> but it's, no, I'm just joking. But it's, I'm joking. <laughs> I Sorry. won't let you find it. <laughs> I just I, I just had to say that. I was waiting to say that part. But one of the one of the um. Uh -huh couples is like one of the issues was this one person wasn't sure she wanted a kid and the guy was like i want to start a family i want kids with you and she's like i don't know if i want kids but yeah. so then it wouldn't really make sense to be with somebody that's what i'm saying else um, it just it doesn't make no sense, sense unless you find yeah sorry unless your partner that you're finding yes. during the break doesn't want kids also but i don't know clearly like that's stupid the producers were like how do we start some drama in a relationship and film it? <laughs> because yeah. mm -hmm. there's there's just no way mm -hmm. there's no way that be you know being like just I don't know there's just no way this that would work. You're not gonna necessarily want to like if you're dating other people if you and you connect with another person mm -hmm. that's only going to cause more drama in your relationship mm -hmm. it's not going to help it mm -hmm. the person isn't going to come back necessarily and be like i'm ready to get married now if they do it's because they didn't connect with the other person mm -hmm. but what happens if they connect with the other person mm -hmm. now it just adds that extra drama so anyways yeah i think you guys it's hilarious show. i do think there's a big especially yeah. the ones who want to get married and yeah. say marry me or we're done they yeah. don't want to be in another relationship. They want to marry the partner they're with. Mm -hmm. So it's weird that the people who even give the ultimatum yeah. are sleeping in the bed with a to a totally somebody else yeah. for three weeks. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah Versus yeah, the yeah, one yeah. who maybe isn't ready to get married I know. and might want to explore other people. That makes sense. Yes. But it doesn't make sense for the ones who are ready to get married mm -hmm. to be with somebody else in a relationship that it actually is kind of a stu yeah it's a great show yeah yeah i do have to say <laughs> it's great because we have critiques, but it's a great show well yeah i mean when i say it's it's a stupid concept it's not i mean it's <laughs> it's stupid in the sense that if you really are struggling with your relationship mm -hmm. it's the worst idea that you could ever do <laughs> not a good concept but if you like watching some some drama <laughs> and you want some tea, like Krista says, mm -hmm. you gotta watch the show. It's really it's really good. Lots of tea. Yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of problems that that happen and stuff like that in inside of it, of course, and they go over it. I'm not but, saying yeah, and I think we just need to breaks are fine to have. Oh well, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's not the that's oh, not, yeah because okay. you're like breaks are you know I just want to breaks. be breaks. I say something about breaks are not good. Yeah, you're saying it's a stupid like you're saying breaks are not going to help and with the show. Oh like, it's oh make, oh, oh I wasn't and clear. I, on yeah, what I was saying. yeah. So I'm just saying yeah, breaks are fine. You're saying in this scenario, yes. on an ultimatum. Yeah. Look, I, this is what I'm saying. If you let's say you're on a break with someone, and you say, hey, you know, like okay, you go up to someone, you you, you have your partner, and you're like, hey. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to get married. I want to get married. And your partner's like, you know what? I still need some time. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% ready. You know, financial, maybe I'm not financially stable, which by the way, that was one of the reasons. I'm not financially stable. <laughs> you know, I need some time to just mm -hmm. kind of get myself situated. Mm -hmm. I'm only 20, 22. Uh, you know what I mean? Right. Give me a little bit of time. Oh, they were young, before, by the way. <laughs> exactly. A lot of these couples were super young. Before uh, I get married. And the yeah. other person's like, I'll tell you what. You go stay with someone else for three weeks and come back and tell me if you want to get married or not. Yeah, uh-huh. Someone know. that you might connect with. Mm -hmm. You go stay with this other person, 
I won't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. And and then when after the three weeks, you come back and you tell me if you want to be with me or not. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much the show. Yeah. That is terrible mm-hmm. for a relationship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's that's you know. So that's what I mean. And they and they didn't show that. Okay, so when they switch couples, essentially, when they start yeah. swinging, because that's kind of what it is, yeah, they works. don't show the conversation of like, hey, you know, like, for example, yeah. Jamal's about to go for three weeks with another girl. Yeah. I'm going to go for three weeks with another guy. They yeah. don't show the conversation of the couple saying, hey, Jamil, you yeah. know, um, let's talk about like our boundaries. Like, uh-huh. you know, are you planning on being intimate with somebody mm-hmm. else? You know? Mm-hmm. You know, am I okay with that or not? You know, and then having that, they didn't show that. So they, they probably had that discussion. I'm though. sure they did. They probably did. But they don't show it, and they should show that because that's yeah. a huge part of taking a break. You need to have yeah. boundaries in the break. You need to have expectations, you know, for each other. You know, yeah. what's the break going to look like? But to True. just act like they didn't even talk about it, and then people are doing things uh, like that seems really disrespectful if it hasn't been talked about yeah exactly that's actually a great point because so you that need was to annoying. set boundaries yeah you know? so that part was annoying that's a good point it seemed unhealthy to not have that talk or show the talk that's right i'm that's sure it. they talked about it you know yeah no yeah. it's true mm-hmm. it's true so so would you go on the show with me i'm giving you an ultimatum <laughs> either go on the show with me <laughs> the only or, no, the kidding. only way the show would work is if yeah. The person who isn't ready to get married is saying, you know, I just, I don't know. I haven't yeah. maybe explored enough people yet, or I'm just not sure if you're the yes. one, or yes. I haven't had enough experiences yet, <coughs> or maybe like, you know, I'm just not, yeah, I'm not really sure yeah, if, if you, ha- if, if you're I, the one, yeah, if you're the one, yeah. I need to date other people. That's different. That- but a lot of these couples didn't have that issue. I don't think any of those couples came in with that thought. Uh-uh. They all came in with, they're just not ready to get married mm-hmm. for financial reasons, kids reasons, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know, immaturity reasons, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. but it wasn't, it wasn't that. Not really. But that's why it's so funny because it's like, you didn't have that problem before of this other person who you connected with. Yeah. Now you have that problem. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, you know, three weeks with somebody... It's not necessarily a long time, you know, obviously, but imagine for at least a good month or two months after that, you're thinking about the person. If you connected with them, you're thinking about them. Yeah. So now in your relationship. they're living together. They're together. sleeping in the same bed. Exactly. It's just, it's, it's beyond. It's like beyond. But it great is. show. Yeah, it's a great show. We really like. <laughs> you gotta check it out. It's very dramatic. <laughs> tons of talking. Yeah. Lots of drama. But anyways, we totally binge watched it in like two days. Yeah. So. I, I like, I like watching shows like, I mean, I don't, I don't always catch shows like that. Like, mm-hmm. it's by the same producers that did, what's the other show that you like? Um... Love is Blind. Uh, Love is Blind, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's by like the same, the I same people. I think it is because it's the same type of well, Nick, shots. Well, Nick Cook. Lachey and, oh, and which, Vanessa, Vanessa Lachey. they're hosting it, right? That's so true. I think it's mm-hmm. it's the same. I'm sure it you is, know, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Same something. And it's Netflix, too. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but it's, <laughs> I, I honestly, I thought it was going to be stupid. Mm-hmm. When I when you guys were watching it, you know, because Chris yeah. and your sister were watching it, was not. And I was like, oh, okay, and uh, you know, so then I was watching. I was hooked. <laughs> yeah, but I was hooked because of the personalities. <laughs> like I can clearly see, without giving stuff away, mm-hmm. these guys were coming in there, and they were, you know, because what they had people doing was talking. Um, they had people talk amongst them, among the, among the other couples, right? Because you got to make the connection, right, with the other couple. Uh, with the other person, the cu- sorry, the couples needed to mingle separately with yeah. each other. If that makes sense, <laughs> so the guys would go around. They would talk to all the different girls one on one, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Girls would talk to all the guys one on one in front of each other too. In it was front just of so each weird. other, and these guys were trying to spit game. Oh. They were like putting their best foot forward. Oh yeah best foot forward like if you heard the stuff that they were doing mm-hmm. and some of these guys you can tell they were like it's like you're not a good person mm-hmm. you know but then some of the guys by the way without saying too much in the beginning you're like how could you hate this person oh this, yeah this, you know the, this i won't say too much but there's like some people you're like this person's like a really good person You're like how are you not ready to get married to yeah like him? what's what's going on like he's so good yeah that kind of thing you know? but then as the show went on you're like oh this is like the worst person to be with <laughs> because what happens is these these people wanna you know they're they're putting their best foot forward talking to someone it's like they're dating mm-hmm. all over again so they're like spitting game and mm-hmm. acting cool mm-hmm. and like saying all this stuff yep. and 
Next thing you know, this person's like the worst person to get married to. Yeah, worst person because he <laughs> yeah sucks at fighting. Or yeah, he's just a jerk. Or oh yeah. Yeah, can I say that by the way? Okay. I gotta add to that really quick. Um, when it comes to like relationships and stuff like that too, mm -hmm. I I mean I know we've talked about this mm -hmm. before too, but how you fight Ugh. is probably the biggest deal, one of the biggest deals in a relationship. It's critical. how you fight. Critical. You know what I mean? Because. Mm -hmm. Like it's like you really have to be able to mm -hmm. communicate when you're fighting mm -hmm. and and not just like go crazy like some people scream and yell and yep. cuss yep. some people walk away from the stuff and like all these different oh, things the walk awayers yeah I mean it's yeah. it's I mean you got to get space sometimes you know mm -hmm. if you got to do that right but but you can't like avoid avoid oh. yeah like some of the people are like mm -hmm. completely like in the middle they, of the discussion mm -hmm. when they were clearly wrong by the way. <laughs> just walk away you can't do that no, no. <laughs> you know so so how you fight is like everything and I, you know watching the show that that's what that made me realize where i'm like wow the problem isn't so much like because when things are great they're great with these couples but when they're fighting that's where it was like really like oh this is like a whole other level you know i agree yeah the problem necessarily wasn't yeah. the the money or yeah whatever it's like oh that's like the personality of the other person i thought it yeah. was so i thought that was a bigger deal yeah but it was so annoying when people would, they would just walk away or or just yeah. be rude to me you know i just i ugh. yeah it's unfortunate knowing how to fight is is yeah. and fight you know with respect yeah. and and clarity and you know Healthy yeah. communication is just like so key. If they if they hired you to be a therapist on that show, mm -hmm. would you would you be on there? Yeah, giving them advice. I would. You would? Yeah. That would actually be a good idea. They Tell should do what that. their issues are. Yeah, yeah, they should actually have like a therapist there mm -hmm. that they go and sit with and have it like mm -hmm. as an open video thing. You know, during the thing, they should do that. They should. You know, because they have the video, right? So they could, for example, they could have you watch the video, mm -hmm. see how the couples are reacting, yep. you know, both couples and stuff. Okay, and geez. you could go there and give them yep. sound advice based off of what you see. A hundred percent. Yep. Mm -hmm. You guys, ultimatum, call me up. They should have done that. I'll give you ideas all day. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. That is good. That yeah. Way. But anyways, very good show. Yeah. Watch it if you haven't seen it. If yeah. you have seen it, don't spoil it in the comment section. But yeah, let us know don't. if you've seen it and let us know if you liked it. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. It's 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 actually worth watching. Yeah, it's, it's pretty like hilarious. It. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's so stupid. Mm -hmm. Such a stupid concept. Anyways, yeah. but a great show. <laughs> great show. And I didn't. Yeah, how they edited it too. Just it didn't. It wasn't quite like linear. Like things didn't make sense. Yeah. But it was just the poor editing of the story. You know how yeah. you have to make a story with the edit. Yeah. But they they skip so much. I yeah. think of like background conversations that couples have. So they make these statements in the in the editing or in the story and they're just like, what? Like, where yeah. did that thought co come from? Or where did that conclusion yeah. come from? So I did think that was actually poorly edited. Yeah, it was hard to know <clears throat> why people were fighting. Mm -hmm. Like, a it was fight would very break out. hard, yeah. If I would break out, yeah. they'd start saying some words, and, yeah. then, and then the person would walk away. You're like, what? you're like, what? Like, where did that come? What from? happened? Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. right. but that's because it's a it's the first season. They got to work out the kinks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It'll get better as it goes, mm -hmm. but. Man, that was that was a good show though. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it was. So, anyways, guys, we're it's, wrapping this up. It's good, like these chicken sandwiches. <laughs> well, chicken the regular sandwich. one. Yeah, great <laughs> one. Very, very good. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, let us know if you tried the Panera uh, chicken sandwich. Let us know what you thought about it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, definitely. Let us know if you tried a spicy one. Maybe change it up, like I said. See if you like like that too. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, like, add the stuff to it. Oh, you know. Excuse me. Yeah, add the stuff to it. Just um, yeah, try with the arugula and maybe add the um, uh, what are those things the the parmesan chips thank you or crisps yeah. <laughs> yeah totally that super good okay fam okay guys don't forget to like comment subscribe share share and subscribe and let your friends and family know what the KMJ fam are doing and until next time we hope you have a wonderful day evening or night whatever time it is out there we will see you in our next video mm -hmm. peace ah, peace out Charles. <laughs>